Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629. Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629. What's good, everybody? It's Dat Boy Mo coming to y'all finally with another edition of the Started On That Finish It podcast. Like, man, what a hell have I been? It's been a while. It's been a while. I think it's been over a year since I even recorded a podcast. And I've been checking my I've been checking my metrics and somehow I'm still getting downloads. Somehow I'm still getting anything else. But I just pretty much want to communicate where I've been and what I've been doing. As you can see, I got a whole new studio set up. You know what I'm saying? So 2020, 2020 and on basically has been a, I mean, with a lot of people, a life changing, life changing and um, a lot of life changing events and stuff like that. So I want to say after 2020, I kind of lost my luster, lost my motivation and everything else. Uh, pertaining to H1 Warrior, pertaining to the podcast, pertaining to a lot of things. Hell, I even, uh, left in- Instagram for a good year, over a year, I believe it was, uh, left Instagram. So, uh, your boy, you know what I'm saying? Like everyone else, gain weight, you know what I'm saying? Gain weight, some COVID weight. And, uh, just lost a lot of motivation. You know what I'm saying? Had a lot of personal issues going on, especially like with the family and stuff like that. Had, uh, you know, I mean, particularly, you know, had had a lot of deaths in the family and, you know, life happens. You know what I'm saying? Like when life happens, life happens and it happens fast. So a lot of stuff going on, you know, um, and I've always been a proponent. If you listen to me and other podcasts and stuff like that, I've always been a proponent of seeking therapy. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen a couple of therapists, actually. I'm actually going back to therapy, too. So, you know. It's it's just like to me mental fitness. You know what I'm saying? Like if if your mental fitness is right, then your physical fitness will be on par with your mental fitness. Because at the end of the day, man, wherever your mentality is at, uh, uh, that that's how you will approach life. So if you don't see the sun all the time, then you're gonna be living in darkness. You see darkness all the time. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna never see the sun. You know. So at the end of the day, and I think I'm I'm a Real proponent in in seeking out a therapist, whether it's virtual, whether it's in person, or whatever you want to seek out. I am a real proponent in people seeking out therapy, especially if you need some things to kind of work on within yourself. But in order to actually seek therapy, you have to want to be a change agent for yourself. You actually have to want to try to uh, <clears throat> hold yourself accountable a lot. So uh, with that being said, yeah, I mean... Up until I want to say recently, 20, 2020, 2021 really hit hard when I stopped August 2021 when I really stopped posting podcast episodes. Like right now, I'm doing the podcast, my first podcast back 2021 is now 2024. That's three years, man. Damn. Damn. Been over <laughs> three years since I recorded a podcast, though. So, um, so I'm glad to be back. You know what I'm saying? I've always invested in myself as as a person of of wanting to put out value, content, and all that stuff. Even when I was younger, man, like hell, when I was way younger before before YouTube was popping, before Facebook was popping, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all of them. I've always wanted to put out some kind of content. I've always used to record stuff on a on a video camera. So it, it's kind of like natural for me. To have a camera in front of me, I mean, it ain't like everybody else recording me or whatever. I'm recording myself. Like right now, I'm recording myself. But I decided to invest more into me because if I don't, who will? You know what I'm saying? So 2021, like my grandmother passed and she was the matriarch of our family. And uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? That hit us hard. That hit us hard. And then, you know, her sister died. And then, you know, my auntie died. And then, you know... Damn, my sister died. The first sister died. And then it's like, damn, man, we're getting hit, you know. And then with the family, it's kind of like, then work. My job was like, I ain't going to lie, man. My job beating me down mentally, physically, emotionally, all that. So I'm trying to keep everything together uh, mentally, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with myself, 
in my relationship, you know, my woman and all that stuff, trying to keep everything centered, trying to like make everyone else happy. You know what I'm saying? And all that is kind of like it, 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 I don't care who you is at the end of the day, that'll come and beat you down. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep smiles in everyone else's faces by keeping a smile on your own and then kind of like everything else is like falling by the wayside, just collapsing. And you're just trying to keep it, keep it up. You know what I'm saying? So in 2021, that happened with my grandmother and I ain't even, I've, I've watched, you know, my metrics and stuff like that as far as like download and stuff, but I really wasn't motivated to, to even even put out YouTube videos, content. Like I've recorded content, but I've never put it out. So up until basically, I want to say 2022, I've recorded content all the way up to 2022, um, but I've never put it out. You see what I'm saying? I never put out that content. And right now I'm putting it out. You know what I'm saying? I got all this content to put out. So I'm like, okay, I'm playing, I'm playing catch up now. I'm playing catch up. So and I don't mind playing catch up. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? There's more content I can put out for y'all, more value. Probably and I wanna, you know what I'm saying, be where I, I believe I deserve to be. I just gotta earn and be consistent. So twenty twenty two was yeah, like I said, pretty, pretty much a down year for me, you know what I'm saying? A down year. I've been getting killed. Like in twenty twenty two, man, I was getting destroyed at work. A lot was put on my plate. Um so uh I'm still hitting the gym. I was still putting out content and all that stuff, trying to stay positive, putting out content, but well, recording content, not putting it out. And then I want to say, uh, 2023, that was, that was a blur of a year. I ain't even gonna lie. I definitely got beat down that year at work. That, that year basically beat me down. And always in the back of my head, I'm sitting here like, all right, Mo, you putting in all this time for your job. You putting in all this energy and effort for your job. Yeah, they pay my bills. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, they pay my bills. I live a decent life. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm paid accordingly, but also it's kind of like where's your self fulfillment for yourself, right? And that always, and that always came to me like, um, like damn, like what? When are you going to do things for yourself? Right. When are you going to do your podcast? When are you going to uh, uh, put out H1 Warrior like you've been trying to do since 2017? When are you going to I don't want to be on my deathbed like Les Brown say, surrounded by dreams that I never chased. I never achieved. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like dreams, you go to a graveyard and you be like, damn, how many dreams are dead? Like the deaths in my family really opened my eyes because, you know, like when my first sister Marla died. Right. And like, it's like, damn, man, she died and she didn't, she, she was so talented, right? But she was very, very, a talented woman and her demons caught up with her. And it's kind of like, damn, her dreams, goals and dreams really never surfaced. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, her demons took over and I'm sure she was grieving just like the rest of us in our family. And, uh, it's kind of like, damn, she died. And it's like, damn, that that really hit. And the way, and the manner she died was just insane. And the manner she died. And the thing about that is it's kind of like, although I never really, I never really show my emotions too much, but behind a hard, a hard exterior is a whole lot of, a whole lot of emotion. And it's kind of like, you don't really know how to really show that. And express it too, so you just kind of hold it in, and then and being strong for everyone else, and then you know my auntie died, well, uh, so that took a toll on the family, and then you know, hell, we got my grandmother, we got my sister, we got my auntie, and then you know we got my my great aunt, you know, who was really close to my mother, and then like damn, all these people dying, and then literally, bro, like literally. Like around Christmas, I, this, this is like Christmas time. It's really, really triggering because my first sister died around Christmas and then my second sister died around Christmas in 2023. So on top of dealing with grief, dealing with this and dealing with that, it's kind of like, damn, my second sister? What is going on? And it just just health issues and like, 
she uh I got the call on a Sunday from my mother and I knew when my mother called me, it was like twelve, so it was kinda like PDSD. I'm talking to my brother and we're like, damn man, every time we get this call, it's like PDSD, who died now? You know what I'm saying? We got PDSD. So twenty twenty three, I'm working twelve, thirteen hour shifts. I'm not getting paid for the uh overtime. I'm working Saturdays. I'm barely working at all. Me and my fiance, we we're trying to plan a freaking wedding. And then it's kind of like, and that's stressful enough. It's a destination wedding. And it's kind of like, damn, I ain't trying to make it about me. I'm more concerned about the children. I'm more concerned about my mother. It's more concerned about her family. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the marriage is just sudden, right? It's just a sudden death. It wasn't sick or nothing like that. And it's just kind of like, damn, another one? So, and in the end of the mix of this, right, I ain't even got time to grieve. So I don't even have time to grieve at all. So I'm just sitting here like, I have time to grieve, but not to myself because I'm 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 always around somebody. And I don't really want people to see me vulnerable like that. So at the end of the day, it's just who I am as a person. Like you always, you know what I'm saying? You always got that that Kawhi Leonard face, you know what I'm saying? That that stoic mentality. Uh and you know, I'm like, damn, another Christmas season where we gotta go to a, another funeral. And it's kinda like, damn, you just lose hope and then like I always, in the back of my head, I always say, all right, Mo, it's always start it, own it, finish it. Start it, own it, finish it. Start it, own it, finish it. You're telling people, start it, own it, finish it. But when are you going to start it, own it, finish it? So I started listening, you know what I'm saying, again, to Ultimate Warrior speeches. He, and this is, you know, the 10th, 10th year, 10 year anniversary. He passed away, 2014. And I started listening to The Warrior, what really got me hyped. And I'm just sitting here like, man, The Warrior really poked me in the chest and said, what the fuck are you doing? You need to get the fuck up off your ass. That's what he told me. Like, literally, face to face, right? Warrior told me that. And I'm like, I'm being from Ohio, and I'm not really, I never really meet famous people, people that have been famous and nothing like that. We just like, whatever. You just uh, uh, used to your environment, and your ceiling is here. When you your ceiling is here, and their ceiling is there, all the way up there, and you're like, damn, I'm conditioned here, but I want to be there. So and that's when he did that. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? That that the way he in no in no video when he was talking to those dudes about how to uh, squat and that's how he really was. So me, I'm that type of person where I don't get I don't get offended when somebody's really like in my face and telling me what I really need to hear. Somebody like him, I respect you, I watch you, I look up to you. You telling me I need to get the shit? Okay, I need to get my shit. So at the end of the day, that's the type of person I am. And for me to really get there, I'm like, man, Mo, you got to step into your own, bro. You got to do something. You got to step into your own. Something ain't working. 2020 on, something's not working. So I watch a lot of people that I either I grew up with, went to school with, and all this stuff. And, you know, they succeeded. You know what I'm saying? They didn't lap me. Pass me. Boom. I'm watching them. They were celebrities. They were C.T. Fletcher, a guy I stayed in line with and all that stuff. It's not a jealous thing. It's more of a like, damn, Mo, what the hell are you doing? It's a motivational thing. It's a motivational thing. I'm like, damn, that should be you over there. You know what I'm saying? Working out with C.T. Fletcher. That should be you over there. You know what I'm saying? Taking pictures with X, Y, and Z. That should be you over there doing this and that and that in the fifth. But you in your own head. So, that's why I'm back. That's why I, I decided, you know what I'm saying, Mo, you just can't sit here. And this go out to anybody out there. I know there's a lot of people that dealt with grief past 2020, before 2020, currently now, a lot of people that dealt with grief, depression, all that. And one of the things, I, like I said earlier in the podcast, right, therapy, you got to find the therapist that mesh with you. Right. If the therapist that you with is not the person you want to mesh with, then guess what? Then you got to find another one that mesh with you. So that's the only way it's going to work. So I found I'm lucky enough to find therapists, you know what I'm saying, that held me accountable. I had a therapist, Sheena, that my initial therapist, and she took no shit. And that's what, although I feel some type of way. But that's what people need, you know what I'm saying, to feel some type of way to know that what the hell you're doing ain't working. You got to find a different way. If you want to get to the results that you want, then you got to find a different way. That's just period, point blank. So 
an eye-opening experience of kind of like where I've been, what I've been doing, why I've, why I've, you know, been away and all that stuff. And like my mental is just kind of like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, luckily I ain't gained a whole lot of weight. I've gained about 20 pounds. I'm trying to shed a lot of that off, but still to maintain muscle. I'm over there. So my body's different changing and all that stuff. But I really want to, you know what I'm saying? Come back. Start on the finish podcast. You know what I'm saying? I got that banner in the back. You know, I'm really invested in this because at the end of the day, if I don't do it now, when would I do it? Right? If I don't do something now or if I don't do something at all, like what? I'm just going to be another person in a coffin on my deathbed or whatever or about to die and just sitting here like, damn, I ain't did, I ain't did nothing in life. I mean, I, I achieved some things in life. But not to when I'm a kid and I'm looking like, man, this is where I want to be when I'm grown. This is where I want to do when I'm grown. Not even touch a smidget of that. I mean, I can't I can't I can't go out like that. You know what I'm saying? I know that a lot of people out there feel the same way. I can't go out like that. But you don't have the confidence. You don't have the resources. You don't know where to start. You don't know none of that. Always seek knowledge, man. I always say always seek knowledge. Knowledge Always seek knowledge You don't know everything We don't know I don't know everything you Always seek knowledge Somebody out there That always knows Something more than you Whether you go to YouTube Whether you read a book I, I'll be tell I don't even know How many master classes I have How many Udemy courses I have How many audible books I have How many Kindle books I have How many YouTube videos I watch How many Instagram uh, uh, accounts I follow Seeking knowledge Because at the end of the day You don't know everything You don't know Half of everything Right. So at the end of the day, even the most notable, most smart, smartest person in the world don't know everything. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos has somebody that he goes to consults with the president of the United States, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, whoever you like. I don't really give a damn. Right. They consult with people at the end of the day because they don't know everything. They got people on their team that they consult with because they don't know everything. So always seek knowledge, man. That's what I'm telling you. Always seek knowledge. Always find a way to. To improve yourself on a daily basis, even if it's a one minute reel that you're watching, a 30 second reel that you're watching or a 10 minute podcast that you're listening to. Right. Something that can improve your knowledge base, because at the end of the day, when you wake up, you know more today than you knew yesterday. You know more tomorrow than you knew today and so forth and so forth and so forth. So, hell, the way I got this set up right here, I had to learn this. You see what I'm saying? I had to learn how to get my own studio. I had to learn how to make this graphic in the back behind me. I had to learn how to set up this camera. I had to have this camera working for me. I had to learn how to set this mic up because the mic wasn't working. It took me a month to figure out how to get this mic, how to get this mic working, y'all. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, always improve yourself if you want to get to where you want to be. Period, point blank. Grief happens. Grief will happen. I hate grief. I hate it. Every, all of us hate grief. You got to work your way out of it somehow or manage it. Manage it. You see what I'm saying? So that's pretty much where my mindset has been. This actually the podcast went over longer than I wanted to. I want to do like a 10, 10 minute podcast, about 18 minutes, 19 minutes right now, according to my uh, camera. Uh, not the camera, but my, my whatever software right here. Uh, but it's pretty much just want to let y'all know where I've been. Your boy's back. Going to be dropping more content, at least one podcast a week. I may do more depending on my time, but I'm definitely going to be getting one one podcast a week. I'm filming this for YouTube also, for Instagram Reels, TikTok, until it's banned, and Facebook Reels too. Uh, so until next time, glad to be back, y'all, by the way. Until next time. You know what it is. Start it. Own it. Finish it. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dat Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at aceonewarrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it. Finish it.